Well, hello there, everybody. How we doing? Logan Black here. Isaiah Wolf chilling in the back. And the boss man, Joey B. As you see, we're, we're not doing a whole lot of moving right here. We are stuck in some real standstill traffic. I can actually see if you can see. Well, you probably can from here. Uh, lights going off up there. There is standstill on the BQE on the way into Queens. So we're chilling right here. The boss man is uh, he's not happy. When is he happy? I can't even tell you. 10 years, 11 years now. Jeez, I know this man. Not a happy moment. I was in a good mood today, too. Yeah, very good mood. Always in a great mood. But glad you can join us here. What's going on, Scotty? Uh, very glad that you could join us on this Thursday night uh, as we sit here and stare at the asses of cars everywhere you look. We're passing by the acidic Jewish section of Williamsburg right now. Jews. Yeah, Joe's favorite people in the world. I like them better than you. Doesn't take a whole lot for Joe to like anyone better than me. But I digress. Uh, By the way, Big Nick has been getting a lot of calls. Oh, has he? Yes. Oh, boy. I take it that's uh, how things go. We give away numbers on this uh, on this show, and boom, everyone makes some phone calls. Okay. You know, it's funny. I was sitting there. Uh, it was a car ride. It was me, <coughs> Plug, and, uh, and uh, Farva riding up to PA on Sunday. Oh, this guy's making a mistake over here. I just, I'm looking at it. This jackass is trying to cut into the uh, on-ramp. As has cars, he's just got jackass. He's trying to right. that way. Oh, man, what a moron. Anyway, uh, and we were telling stories about the old radio show we played, because uh, on YouTube you have some stuff up there. I and it's, yeah, um, of that uh, first, the best one was the lady calling in um, and threatening you guys. Which one? <laughs> So there's two different things. Oh, this fucking jerk off. Look at him. He's backing up. Oh no, no. Same fucking thing. I didn't get it in time. Damn it. This guy backed up a uh, an on ramp. Unbelievable. Well, anyway. So I was telling them stories, and it's on there uh, where you could check out. Uh, they're sitting there, and it was. Some lady, you guys had prank called some lady, of course, prank calling somebody. What'd she say? And I can tell you the whole story. Oh, the said. Landolfi, look oh, us that's, up. That's Dirtbag Dan's girlfriend's mom. What happened was, <laughs> um, something happened where she started fooling around with Scotty Priest, so Dan was pissed, so we started talking about how, you know, when she's lonely, she gets the peanut butter, and she puts it down there, and she calls the dog over, and the dog comes over and licks her and gets it off. So the mother must have been listening to this fucking show. So, you know, on the air, the phone, the, the number comes up. Call you on the air. And then there uh, went from there. <laughs> and, you know, Kiki was on and I was on. I, I guess, I don't know if Ian was The best on. part, the best, and the thing that Pop plugged the most was when the lady goes, It's you who sits there and ripes the, the peanut, peanut butter. butter. <laughs> and Kiki goes, Well, of course I do, young lady. <laughs> I'm a Landolfi. Look us up. Yeah, no, that was pretty tremendous. Uh... And it's actually, that's on YouTube if you want to look it up. If you live, you look up Warriors of Wrestling Radio. White Trash Radio. Mother Calls Warriors of Wrestling. Yeah, White Trash <laughs> Mother Calls, yeah. and it was it's hilarious. Do you live in a trailer, miss? You're running water. Ah, uh, it was, it was <laughs> tremendous. Just trolling people on that was something that I, I genuinely, genuinely love doing. Uh, but I digress. Those were, those were some uh, fun times. Watch out, vehicle stopped on road ahead. There you go. As you, as you can probably hear, I've got Waze on in the background <coughs> of this miserable, terrible shit traffic. There's a yellow car sitting in front of us. I know Joe Rogan's got issues with yellow cars. I don't get it. Ugh. But yeah, those days were, were, were fun. And there's some stuff, like I said, there's some stuff on YouTube. There's that one. There's one where this kid, I think he was a Johnny Rod student, had called up the radio show. I don't know who that was. It could, it could have been somebody playing a Johnny Rod student. Yeah, but then... uh you guys kept calling back, and his mother answered and, like, flipped out on him. Did you guys play that over the weekend? Yeah. <laughs> on the ride up, it was tremendous. It's fun stuff. Woman? <laughs> like, cool. I'm, I'm 50 years old. You don't call me woman. And right, whatever, bitch. bitch. <laughs> whatever, bitch. And yeah, there's Irish Bruiser in there playing along. It was, it was, it was a wonderful... There was, there was a lot of... Uh, that was some was fun, fun stuff. Radio. Had a lot of fun with that kind of stuff. A lot of hours of work spent <laughs> I feel like we talk about the radio a whole lot on here. Uh, I mean, this does go on the radio if you check out Damage Damage 365. Uh, we do go uh, with these. These are turned into audio and put on there. It's not the same thing, though, because with that, we were live and we would have callers. Oh, yeah. No, certainly. And we would call people. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know. You can call people. I mean, here we can't really call people. Y'all could ask questions. You could, you know, feel free to jump in with any questions you have or comments. But yeah, no, we'd, uh, hey, Black, what up? Is talking to Donnell in the back? Who is that? <laughs> no, it's a John. He's a fan out of uh, New England. Good dude. <laughs> but yeah, I had to turn it yeah, racial, of Abraham course. Abraham Lincoln's walking around. That's... As if we're hitting the Hasidic Jewish area of Williamsburg, so Joe thinks, you know, because Joe's read one book in his life, uh, that we're meeting Abraham Lincoln. No, I'm not even talking about reading nothing. I get to see them. Well, Joe, I don't Joe thinks he's seen Abraham Lincoln. I digress. You know, speaking of which, why not? Let, let's talk about this for a moment. Uh, I had a lot of friends who are chilling out in Florida right now and going to Disney. Any of y'all out there, when was the last time y'all went to Disney? Tell me about it, because I'm a fucking huge Disney mark. You might not know it just by looking at me or talking. I'm a huge fucking Disney and theme park mark. Well, when was the last time you went to Disney, Joe? Um. Rick uh, Cattell, though, can I suck your dick as Joe Hodges? Uh. Rick, Rick was on a Johnny Rides of School there, Rick. Rick, I genuinely appreciate the offer, but no thank you. Um. Don, that might be a different story. We went, when me and Tony oh. went on the, no, the last time we were on the breakaway, which was. A few years back, we went to, uh, we spent a day at, uh, no, we went to Islands of Adventure and SeaWorld, so the last time we went to Disney, oh, it was WrestleMania weekend, I did the boat. WrestleMania! Thing. But I didn't go in. Um, last Chocolate time we went was probably five years ago. You know, I'm a fucking massive Disney, Mark. Um, I wish, I genuinely wish, but no, it was Universal Studios they did it. Was it MGM Studios they had WCW taped at? It's called Hollywood Studios now. Oh, whatever it is. Um... But yeah, MGM award. Love you, Rick, if you're still listening. Rick Tallow is one of my favorite people. Hell of a talent. Um, what's going on, Hawaii? Uh, Scotty Sariti, Joe, how did Joe feel about the JAP show? <laughs> you got my honest opinion? Who's asking that? Scott Sariti. Who's the ring announcer? Well, all right, here's the deal. You're wrestling in front of people that have no idea. First of all, I don't know why any heels went over. Um, it just doesn't, it just... You know, in the main event, the, the, the guy, uh, the Gacy beat Magic. You're wrestling in front of people that you're not going to go back in front of again. Um, that, you know, really weren't... A lot of these people were disabled and older and, you know. So the faces sure all went over on this show. There were some good matches. Um, Magic and Gacy were good. You know, Plug went in there with uh, the guy. Frankie Picard. Picard. And, and, you know, they're the, they're the only ones that got a reaction. These other guys went out there and just wanted to do moves and... When you're in front of a crowd like that, that's who gives a fuck how many moves you can do. Is it in the importance of learning to, to work the, the crowd that you're in front of? That answers your question, stuff. Yeah, no, I mean, it just it makes sense to work the uh, the crowd that you're in front of. I don't know if you're in there and there's nothing but kids out there. Why are you not trying to work the kids? Dude, I gotta get off here. I, I can't sit in this traffic. Well, I don't want you to get off and hit hit the bridge. You know what I mean? So last thing you want to do is yeah, hop on the bridge. I, I, mean, be, I can't. I can't be late for work. Okay, okay, but again, if this is going to make you later for work, what do you want me to tell you? It's Metropolitan Avenue. You can find a way from Metro to uh, where you need to be, or go for it. Well, anyway, as we continue, yeah, this traffic is absolute dog shit. Apparently, according to Waze, there's a stalled car in a lane and uh, construction up ahead, so it's you know a double whammy of dog shit on this ride back. Absolutely miserable, miserable, miserable. But, you know, welcome to Williamsburg, I suppose. Does El Hijo del Joey B have potential to break out in 2018? Um, I think he's got potential to maybe break out in 2019. The guy's uh, <laughs> picking things up. He's definitely an athlete. For those of you who don't know, there's a student uh, who is now going by El Hijo del Joey B. Uh, besides the fact that he's larger than Joey B. <laughs> I think that's the real joke here. But anyway... Yeah, that guy, uh, you know, it's good. We have a, a crop of people coming in that are picking things up um, at a you know, quicker pace right now. And uh, it's just good to see, always good to see the progression these students are making. And uh, keep coming down to shows, they'll be on those pre-shows soon enough. I know Joe likes to play the Johnny Rods game and shotgun people into pre-shows uh, the second that they learn how to do a push-up. That's a Johnny Rod style that Joey B picks up. As much as Joey B likes to rip on Johnny Rods, I don't know. I think I think Joey's throwing a spot in his head who too. Who am I put on? Who am I put on pre show? I'm was joking, already. obviously. Well, let's not talk about that now. Um, but I think the spot's growing on his head. I don't think I put on his pre show. It wasn't ready. Can we pre show? We could discuss that uh, another time. Anyway, 
Again, stuck here staring at the asses of cars. Uh, let's go back to Disney. Is there anybody out there who genuinely enjoys Epcot Center? I don't know. I've, I've talked to people. People are I like, like Epcot. you do. See, everyone I talk to is like you have Epcot. To go more than one day, or one day. right. I mean, all you need to do is spend like a day there. You know, especially here, it's really good if you drink. I don't drink, so it does nothing for me. Because you go around the world and try different beers. I don't. Right, that's a cool thing. You go around the world and try the different beers. But for me, I just like all the uh, nerdy rides and shit because they have like, you know, the. Uh, they just need to update their stuff. Do they still have the uh, the fast track, whatever it is, the uh, the race car ride? Mm -hmm. That thing was pretty cool every time I've been on it. But I like the you know the technology ride where like they show you all the different fucking like technology through the years. Those other ones like that. The Hall of Presidents is that there too? That's Magic Kingdom. Right. I like the Hall of Presidents too. I'm just a fucking nerd. What's wrong with me? Shit. I don't know. Rock and Roller Coaster is still there. That's MGM. Yeah, I know. It's MGM. I don't know. I don't think the Tower of Terror thing is being changed. Is it really? That's I unfortunate, so. man. Is it being changed or has it already been changed? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, because I, I got a buddy who had a picture on the Tower of Terror recently, so... That's that's where we're at. In terms of understanding shit. I don't know. I uh, thought Disney was... Every time I've ever been to Disney has been great. California... It was a little bit iffy. I wasn't a huge fan of it. But it's only one big park instead of multiple ones. Florida's the one to go to. Issue is if I go to Florida, I gotta visit my mom and sweet Christmas. Don't quite wanna wanna jump on that when I want my Disney vacation. I hear, uh, well, I know, I mean, when fucking WrestleMania was down there, they had all these, these independent shows. I mean, you had the ones that were all at WrestleCon and all that fun stuff. Uh, but then you had a lot of these independent shows that drew shit, and it's unfortunate because... You know, those guys are the ones running every month down there are not, you know, the people who come in to run one show for WrestleMania weekend. They just, you know, all ate shit. It's unfortunate to hear. Karloff thinks that uh, Disney sucks donkey for quarters. I don't know about that. I love Disney. I can, hey, you're a family, man. I can do shit on Disney. What's wrong with you? You don't have a conscience. You don't have a soul. Well, which doesn't he like about Disney? I don't know. I'm just angry. My only knock on Disney is the rides aren't as, as good as, like, Great Adventure or Islands of Adventure. Really? You don't think the rides are as good as, as Great as, Adventure? As, as high-impact rides, I'm talking about. Oh, well, Great Adventure is more of, like, a, like a thrill park, I'd right. say. That's like, that's what Islands of Adventure is, like, the Hulk or... The, the right. Adventure. I think Disney is way more of, like, a fucking family park, you know what I mean? Right. Actually, Nick, my uncle was part of that stunt spectacular. They pulled him out of the crowd and had him dress uh, in a turban. I, I, I suppose you probably can't get away with doing that at this point. Uh, but that was part of what it was. I guess then they'd have you dress up. Watch them? Uh, jumped down from 10 to 3 in the last minute. <laughs> so, who the hell knows? Still stuck here on the BQE. Now we're hitting South 4th Street. So, again, if you... Oh, I actually read that crawl office, I'll never go black. And I was about to be like, absolutely, I understand how you operate. But, this week's edition of What Sets Joey Off... How happy that face is. Uh. Yeah. Miserable existences. But I digress. Anybody, questions, comments, hop on in. Throw us uh, anything you got. Let's, uh, let's get to talking about topics. I'm sitting here, I'm talking about the radio show we're talking about. I tried bringing up Disney, but I mean, shit, how many wrestling fans are going to sit here talking about Disney? Apparently not that many. You know, I'm surprised Williamsburg has not had any wrestling with all the fucking hipsters out there. Like, Williamsburg Bushwick hasn't had any, like, actual wrestling shows. I don't know. It's an interesting thing. You fucking... The hipsters love Lucha Libre. It's very surprising that they haven't... Nobody's ran anything. This is probably too expensive. Is this that good? No, it's the next one. And you're honestly probably not that far off from it. Wow. But it looks like... Yeah, I mean, this is a huge mess. Next Saturday show, we have any of the new shirts. I will have the shirts uh, in the middle of next week, you know, so all the shirts will be available. Uh, the three different designs that I have. Actually, only be two, because I'm not bringing East Coast Bastard Crew stuff to Warriors. No one has a clue who they are there. But the, new, the show that I'm working the weekend after in New England, at Max Cap for PvP, I will definitely have those East Coast Bastard Crew shirts. 
Not that hookup. So don't worry, Zeno, I got gotcha. you. And I actually, to my understanding, Zeno, uh, those guys.